Now I will demonstrate for you the very basics of the Tem vs. Zerg matchup. When the AF SCV is completed, you should construct a supply depot. Shortly follow this by building a barracks with the 10th SCV. Normally you are free to scout whenever you want, but in my case I like to send an SCV as my barracks starts construction. With the 12th SCV starts the second barracks. I see that the Zerg is at 2 o'clock. As soon as the barracks is complete, you should always set the rally points above your ramp. In terms of hop keys, in my case I like to set the scouting SCV to 1, the first two barracks to 3 and 4, and the starting command center to 2. Here I make the refinery with the 21st SCV while constantly pumping marines. With the 26th SCV, I start the academy, still maintaining the marine production. It is one of the top priorities earlier on that you try to keep your scouting SCV alive for as long as possible to keep watch on the enemy base.
When the academy is completed, queue medics in your two barracks and attach the combat station straight away. From then on, keep focus on your first group of infantry, as winning or losing the game often depends heavily on how much you achieve with them. The reason for the additional fiber production is that you can easily prevent the entry of the enemy zerglings into your anti-base by putting just a couple of them along with medics on hold at the entrance. Instead of a spire or a higher tech building, I've scouted two evolution chambers, so I expect the opponent's forces to consist mainly of ground units such as locals and zerglings, rather than air units such as brutalists. In this case, using the dropship can be very effective. The tactic I'm displaying now is known as the 3 cm drop. Through loading and unloading your marines, you will be able to transport your units safely onto the enemy base.
It is highly effective to drop in several places at once to break the opponent's concentration. What I've shown you was the very basic Terran build of the Versus Zerg. The early game will probably be quite similar up to the time when you build your academy, so always keep in mind that the opponent's resulting play will inevitably be different every time. Your build will have to adapt to the enemy's play as it can take different tech routes or even use, use a build as a feint. In the case of this game, the Zerg player took the build in which he used Zerglings early on to defend his base along with Sunkens, whilst using the Evolution Chamber to feint a ground-based build when in fact he was taking fast to Mutilists. If I had not acted fast and attacked at the right time in response, the situation could have easily swung in his favour. So I recommend that you scout and scan the enemy very thoroughly and regularly in order to adjust your build style according to your opponents.